Hi guys, it's Sadie here, and today I'm going to be doing a Soft Valentine's makeup tutorial with a in-depth or semi-in-depth eyeliner tutorial mixed in with it. So I'm putting my hair up as you can see, and I've already done my foundation. If you guys would like to see a foundation routine, then give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll be sure to make you guys one of those. But for now, we're just going to be go ahead and get into the eye look. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking a dense brush in my NYC Individual Eyes Palette in Union Square and taking that base and applying that all the way on my lids. And now I'm blending it out all the way up to my brow bone with my finger. To set the base, I'm taking my Lorac Pro Palette and the White and Cream shade and patting or applying that to set the base all the way up to the brow bone. For a little bit of definition in the crease for this soft look, I'm using that same matte brown in that palette with a fluffy crease, br crease brush and applying that from the inner to outer corner and just buffing that in. Also applying just a little bit underneath my eyes. So now I'm using my Lorac Tantalizer Bronzer and Highlighter Duo and taking the highlighter in a small brush and applying that to the inner corner to outer corner just to give like a little bit of shimmer you know, pinky look since it's Valentine's Day. Nothing really too dramatic. Now time for the eyeliner. I wanted the eye look to be super simple so then you guys could really see what I'm doing, but apparently my camera was not totally zoomed in as I wanted it to be, but you can kind of still get the idea as I'm doing it. So what I usually do is I take my eyeliner, this is the Rimmel Micro Liner, and I do small dashes near the lash line. I make sure they're really thin just to give like a guideline of where I want the line from the eyeliner to be. So I start in the middle of my eye and kind of work my way inwards to the inner part. And I know my hand's kind of blocking it, but it's hard to do winged eyeliner like in front of a camera and stuff. But I very lightly line the inner corners of my eyes and then kind of make sure the line is even all the way through my lash line. Then for the wing, as you can see, I take like, I go really, really slow and do the tiniest, thinnest line that you can possibly draw. Not really black, you just want it there as a guideline. And I just kind of make a line and then connect it to the line that we previous made, previous, previously made. <laughs> on the lash line and just make it um, as uniform as you want to and try to make sure that it is even. Sometimes if you think that it looks good then you probably should leave it that way because if you mess with it even more it can get messed up. Um, my, this way of is this way of doing eyeliner is kind of different from not really different just there's other ways to do it as well. Like, I feel more comfortable using gel eyeliner than a pen. I feel like I have more control over it than I do with a pen, but I kind of just go with it. And again, I am connecting that line from the inner corner to the mid part of my lash line and kind of just connect the dots and make the line as thick as I want to. And another tip that you could use if you guys wanted to do this, you can take tape and put that from the lash line and just make a a pretty even line from both eyes and do your wing like that. I personally don't like that that much. It usually takes off my foundation even if I try to get it a little bit tacky. Um, another, way, another way is that you can put a sharp object, kind of like a credit card or something, up to your eye and um, do your eyeliner like that for a straight edge. Again, not my favorite technique. I, I kind of just like eyeball it. And just a second ago, I kind of messed up on the eyeliner, which is okay. You can always fix it. Um, it kind of isn't connected, so yeah, I kind of just connected it there. And it also wasn't as thick on the base as it was to my other eye. Another tip is to always compare both of your eyes. You always want your wings to be the exact, like, corner. You want them to be, like, precise and like, almost exactly the same as the other ones. So you can just kind of look back and forth to make sure that they are pretty this, pretty much the same. They don't have to be perfect though. And I did go back in with that base that I used and kind of sharpened up the line. That's another thing you can do is use concealer. And yeah, so that's how I do my eyeliner. I'll probably go in like a different video and do like a super in-depth tutorial. But today wasn't apparently wasn't that day because my camera was not doing what it was supposed to do. 
But I applied my EOS lip balm, and I think this is the pomegranate raspberry one, and I curled my eyelashes. Now I am applying my L'Oreal Infallible, not Infallible, my L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara to the upper and lower lashes to give us some voluminous and long eyelashes. And then for my lips, I decided I wanted to do something pinky, but not too pink. Um, so I went in with my NYX Butter Gloss in Snow Cap, and it's a really pretty nudie pink color. And then I went in with my Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Lipstick in Rosebud, and applied that on the inner parts of my lip lips. Which, if you like the Snow Cap, which I do, but if you don't really like to have that like nude pink color, you can always make it even more pink here with a different color. Um, this one is a little bit too rosy for me, so I very lightly applied it into the middle of it, because, I don't know, it's just what I preferred. So yeah, I just put that there, and yeah, we are done with the look. If you guys really liked it, and you guys also would like a foundation tutorial, don't forget, give this video a big thumbs up, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to comment down below other things that you'd like to see from me, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!